enemy of Beaulieu is the developer of the famous, some would say infamous, morning after pill, known as RU486. He's also a discoverer of DHEA, the human growth hormone, also known as the anti-aging pill. Today, this former president of the French Academy of Sciences has come to us all the way from Paris in order to talk about what he calls the new revolution which cannot remain ignored, the aging of humanity. Etienne Amil. The world population is changing. Everybody knows that. As you may see on the left, only 50 years ago or so, and now there is an increase of population. We are six billions now, and uh, an enlargement of the symbol showing that 70 to 74, 75 to 70, 9, 80 more increase. And it's predicted that in 2050, will be 9 million, 10, 10 billion, 9 billion, 10 billion, with a fantastic increase of aging people. So this creates, obviously, problems. Essentially, currently, each year, we have a chance to live three months more. And uh, children born after 2000, as it's written here, half of them will get a hundred years of age, which is really a change of humanity. It's an enormous problem. What occurs during our lifetime? Genes are always functioning, and they may change of manner to function. But what is really important is environment is decisive. Probably more and more than 50% of the cause of change of uh, function. And the main instrument, if I may say, between our bodies and environment is the brain. And the brain, in turn, makes regulatory molecules which come from the brain and some of them are called hormones. This leads in our time with the change of environment of how we finish our lives. As you see, 50 years ago, the decline was short. Accidents, infection, cardiovascular, now it's different. Mental disease, degenerative diseases, including of the brain, immunological deficit, cancers, all of those things threat us. So it's really uh, a different medicine. And the biology in terms of uh, hormones is, in a very simplified manner, dependent on the brain I see via the pituitary gland, going to the growth hormone GH and uh, IGF-1, a derivative made in the liver, which undergo a somatopause, that is, Going down. The sex steroids, governed by pituitary hormone LH and FSH, and for men, andropause, women, menopause, you have hormones which decrease estrogen, E2, testosterone, the androgen, T. And also change of glands which are above the kidney, adrenals, where the cortisone of human beings is unchanged. Another hormone, DHEA, which was mentioned by Moses, is going down. Now for DHEA, it's quite interesting because when we measure on a few thousand people for about 10 years, for people who have smoked or still smoke, in a way the length of life is not terribly changed according to their non-smoker or they do smoke. Why? If they have a low DHEA level, you see that the relative risk, that is, the rapidity to which uh, death occurs, is increased actually seven times. So DHEA is a protector of the organism. 
a certain number of deficits that we have in aging are reversible, which means that we just have to work in order to find a way to recover something which is so essential to our life. Now, the length of life, lifespan. Clearly, everybody knows that uh, 50,000 years ago, people were dying uh, relatively soon. For instance, almost nobody was really alive after 40 years of age. In Rome, 1,000 years before Christ, it was uh, 50% maybe of the people who reached uh, 50 years old. Now, 1976, you see a calculation that uh, life has become more rectangular in a way. We do not die too early as compared as before. That's very clear. And uh, there are progresses. So going from the blue to the red uh, curve, how far can we go? Can we really, because we know that the mean life expectancy has increased. We saw that at the beginning of the talk. But what we do not see, what we do not know is can we go really further than the so-called limit, 120 years of age? We don't know. We don't know, but uh, our uh, understanding is still fairly immature. Aging also depends very much on uh, earlier behavior, lifestyle, environment, and hormones. Age, in a way, is a social definition. It's a number, a social definition. What is important is, are you healthy? Mentally, physically. It's never too late to do something. That's something I like to say. And what is uh, important, uh, in my opinion, is also to combat the entrepreneur with this anti-aging, so-called, uh, whatever, uh, is... Uh, uh, intervention. We need evidence-based intervention, clearly. We also should be careful to avoid anti-aging racism, because the expression grey plague still exists, and obviously with a change of lifespan should disappear anyway as any sort of uh, uh, racism. The last slide says I really believe in science and its responsibility and its possibility to give us better health physically, mentally. From frailty, vulnerability, dependence, which is so difficult to support by person, family, and society, we should go to autonomy and freedom. I wish you long happy, active, long life. Thank you.